I've been really lucky that um, I've had a succession of detectives that are willing to help me and in helping me, it's, it's much more than, you know, this is how we do it, or this is the procedure, or this is the science, or whatever. You know, that, all that stuff's important, but it's window dressing on character. Um, that's what I'm looking for. And spending time with detectives who are really dedicated, you start drawing that character. And the luck came in that it's almost like a succession. Uh, one detective who's now retired connected me with his, his um, partner and then that that partner ended up being partnered with a new homicide detective named Mitzi Roberts. Before I came on I was a bartender and then I went on to uh, manage a, a chain of restaurants but in my capacity of managing these restaurants these L and I had moved out to the valley and these LAPD officers used to come in and um, I formed friendships with them and um, and I was always kind of intrigued by by crime and especially like serial killers and murderers. They were like, hey, you should think about becoming a cop. It's a good job. It's secure. You make pretty good money. It's exciting. Every day is different. And I was like, eh, well, I don't know, but can I talk to murderers? And they're like, well, you could, you could be a homicide cop, you know, if you, that's what you want to do. So I was like, eh, it might be something I'm interested in. I always try to look for a... Um a single word to describe my main characters. And Barry Bosch always said he's relentless. And um, what I drew from uh, Mitzi Roberts was this fierceness. I think she's fierce when she sees some kind of injustice. And that really, you know, gets her going. And I see that and uh, it inspires me. And so eventually it came to the point where, boy, I'm 62 years old now. How many, how many more books will I write? I've just kind of felt like a, before I check out, I should do something new. I decided to write about a female detective and lo and behold here's a detective who can tell me a lot about what that life is like. Why not go in that direction when it's when it's right there in front of you? About six years ago he graciously invited me to um, consult with him on his books and then that sort of segued into Bosch so we've just developed um, this great friendship and to me a mentorship because I learned so much for him about the business outside of my business, which is detective work and homicide. What I have always found interesting is, is the little stuff, the little cases that she remembers and, and, the, and victims that were not, you know, the victims of serial killers and so forth and the sympathies she's had. Not to quote Mike, but to quote Mike, he, because it's true, everyone counts or nobody counts because once you start to put more value on one person's life than another, then you're just um, not as effective as an investigator. The way I see it, I see a lot of female detectives out there that are have done more than me. I feel, I look up to as what and who I aspire to be as a detective. So just that I have this opportunity and that, and that I had the chance to, to meet Michael and be that inspiration and also to help him. Overall, it's just humbling and, and fun. It's incredibly fun. As a writer, you're constantly throwing out a net and hoping to catch something that um, inspires you. And, and it, it was right there in front of me. The book comes out and, it, and it inspires some people, then that's fantastic. It draws attention to this really good detective. Um, that's also fantastic. But as we both know, she doesn't me need me to draw any attention to her. She does that on her own with the cases that she solves.